Hello ladies, I hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, I took a quick preview at this video and oh my gosh, wow. Uh, what an improvement. I have to say you guys are looking what good looks like. So yeah, you guys are looking good. <laughs> anyway, um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to do some reviews and look at this. Um, but overall, this is night and day from what we saw in the few first few weeks. And you know, it really is a testament to some work that you guys are doing and obviously some hard work by Lisa too in terms of uh, getting better as a coach and really kind of following the volleyball 101 formula of what good looks like. So I uh, really want to congratulate you. And I didn't get past the first few points. I don't know how this ended up, but it seemed like you guys started to dominate. Uh, so let's check it out. First thing I noticed is the rotations just look so much cleaner. So that's something I'm very, very happy about. Uh, one thing I would add is maybe having the middle start a little bit further off the net. So on a short ball, the middle's got this, and then they're also ready at an approach. So one thing to consider. Okay. Pretty good first pass. The one thing I would like to try and do on this is, like, that's a great opportunity. I think we can practice running a tool for this ball. Also, you know, again, you know, my attitude is I want to go to the, the middle fast and early. Like, I want to set the middle from the first play. Um, what was noticeable is from at least the first few points, you got most of your kills through the middle and the back set. So I want to go and set those people in the back and the middle a lot. So I think in this play, I would have even considered trying to maybe bring this middle on a back two, which would just completely mess them up on the first play, or bring them on a front two right here, um, or set the back set. Okay, you can see the whole momentum is already on terms of the opponents. Watch how they are ready or ready for that outside. So we have to instead go opposite to the flow. Um, something to consider. See how ready their defense is? Um, the other thing is, notice they're playing a setter up defense. And one of the things is, I'm not sure if the Libro or the other outside is communicating to the outsides where the hole is. So one of the things I always want us to be doing is, have our uh, outsides helping each other and the Libro paying attention to where the holes are, so that when we're taking out the trash, we number one, know the defense. Like what happened, I noticed was we were hitting a lot of balls into the deep area five versus into area one where the hole was. So something to think about. Like, look at that. Like that would have been a great opportunity to hit area five. And notice their first ball is a back set. Um, one of the things, Abby, I was watching your blocking. I think you're just a little bit too far off the net. So I would be looking at that. Uh, also, I don't know if our Libro is always necessarily finding a view. So it seems like you're kind of a little bit behind the block. I would be a little bit, make sure you can actually see the hitter Libro or the person playing in position six, I mean. So notice you're kind of middle. I don't know if you're behind the block or not, but that's something to think about. Nice try. That's actually a pretty good dig, so I take that back. So you were in a pretty good place. A great job, actually. But again, you guys look good. You know what I mean? Like you guys are doing what you guys are meant to be doing. Let me just look here. It looks like you guys uh, changed my numbers on me. So you guys have put a nine on somebody that shouldn't have a nine. Okay. Um... So I believe number nine is a senior, if I'm correct. What I liked about that is that was a play where we didn't make any mistakes. But again, notice, um, Bella, you keep hitting to area five. So I want us to be a little bit smarter on where we're taking out the trash to. You understand? Notice how there's a big hole in the middle, big donut, big donut also in the line. But what I liked is you didn't make a hitting error. So no hitting errors. Number one, we serve in and tough. Number two, no hitting errors. So great job. And that's why, because they're going to make the mistakes on us. You know, most teams suck. So it's like, let them make the mistakes versus us making the mistakes. And then we have our excellent, unbelievable server, Abby Crush it. 
So Abby, I am so happy with your serving. I just wanted to tell you that it's spectacular. There's one, loved it, like that. Now this serve, I absolutely love down the line here. Now notice that person was completely out of place. I don't know if you noticed that, but she was standing too far forward, which created that opportunity. Now what I would have liked is you to serve her again. Notice where she's standing. So you guys see how they're not in a straight line? And notice how this person over here is in the incorrect place based upon how she should be. The, she should be back and this person should be slightly forward. But they're out of position based upon where you're standing as a server, Abby. So I don't know if you saw that. I love the serve. Everything looked really great. I love everything about this. So this looks great. I would like us to see. Now notice the holes in the defense. Like look at this gigantic hole in area six. I don't know if you guys are talking about this, but we have to be paying attention. One of the things we could maybe do, uh, Lisa, is um, set up our wash drill and do different defenses and force the Libro to take a look at what the defense is doing. Okay, and then help the hitters to have to hit into those spots where the hole is. And then basically you reward them based upon hitting into the holes. Notice we've set the outside so much. Okay, and on the outside we're getting blocked. We're not getting kills. They're getting dug. Even that play, you notice it was an out of system, not a great set. But um, good job, Ella, on making a smart attack on that. And then now look at this. We put them under pressure. Okay, we get an easy free ball. You know what I mean? So we really want to try and go through the middles and keep with our game plan offense, game plan defense, and set the middle, set the back set as much as possible. Also, Ella, I like that you did a shot, a smart tip shot through to the middle. Notice how effective that shot is, you know, versus us hitting always deep corners. With deep to the area five. Uh, set was a little bit tight, but again, because we're setting the middle, they're having a lot of tough times. You see? I like your movement, Abby. I wanted to just compliment you on defense. I like how you move and you stop. Everyone, notice how arms are wide right now. So notice how Abby's arms are wide. Notice how she's facing defender and notice how she stopped. So I love that. Very, very good job. I think everyone's arms need to, are, are doing pretty good getting wider. Ella, you need to get your arms wider. Notice your arms are locked inside your body. Everyone else getting your arms outside your body. I want your arms outside your body because it's easier to move in versus moving out. Plus, if a ball goes on your sides, you can jab at it with one arm. Again, setting the middle, and the middle's working for us. Great block, eh? Very, very good move. I like that big crossover. You got there pretty well. Great job. I think that's Alyssa, or is that Callie? I think it's Alyssa. Sorry. No, that's Callie. Yeah! High middle. Now, one of the things I want you guys to notice is, check this out. Anyway, notice on the high middle set, basically, uh, they have one blocker. If they go one blocker, we set that high middle every time. Like, we run the middle on a one block because we're going to just crush that. You know what I mean? If they want to put up one blocker, we're going to put our best hitters in the middle and hammer the ball. You know what I mean? Like, we can't get stopped on a one blocker down the middle. Okay, notice the other thing is we haven't made, and this is a very important thing, we have our best server... At least when I was there, Abby was the best server on the team in terms of on the baseline. When Abby's on the baseline, we do not make hitting errors, okay? Because there's so much pressure on them to side out. And if we can keep Abby on the baseline serving, we're going to go on important point runs where we get a lot of points in a row. So I really like this. So this was great. Abby, again, notice you're serving her deep down that line. I like that location. So, again, look at the free ball because of that. I think on these free balls, I think those can be a little bit tighter, you know, understand? 
So let's try and get just a little bit tighter on the free balls versus a dig ball. Dig ball, I want high middle, free ball a little bit tighter so we can run out middle. Okay, now this was a bad error, Ella. You can't make this mistake, eh? Like, these girls suck. Also, did anyone tell her where the holes are? Like, Ella, look at this gigantic hole here. Like, I'm going to have to draw it bigger. I have to do two squares. It's so big. You guys with me? Who's telling her where that hole is? Set her? Did you tell her? Let's see if anyone talks to her. You guys tell her, great, but you guys don't tell her where the hole is. So let's be productive in our conversation. Hey, Ella, giant hole down the line. Hit it. Hit the line. Hit the line. Hit the line. Look at the hole. You guys all with me? And Abby shouted her for making a hitting error because it messed up your serving streak. Okay, you guys are looking like volleyball players. I love the stance. Everything looks pretty good. Uh, Abby, I like that your feet are a little bit more parallel than that first video that was shot. Nice play, guys. Run the middle, run the back set. Let's see. Yes. Nice play. Now, look at them. They basically have one blocker up. So, on one blocker up, we're going to crush this ball. But one thing that would make this attack even easier is if we run this set up and down to by pushing it out a little bit, you notice how the trajectory is a little bit out versus straight up and down. It makes it a little bit more difficult to hit. So what I would prefer is an up and down two. And Ella, you come to her, the setter, just a little bit. But still, we're unstoppable in that play. So again, great job at setting the middle, great pass. Excellent, ladies, you guys are really sticking with that game plan offense and like moving towards what we want in terms of what good looks like. Great block. Love the move. Well read. I really thought that was excellent. So great job. What are you telling them, Coach? <laughs> Ella, notice your block there. You just want to go straight over. You're making a double move on your penetration. So just make one move over when you block. Also try to keep your elbows a little bit more in and make a move off your chest. Don't take your elbows outside of your block. It'll make you a much better blocker. Well Notice we're serving in and tough. Okay. Great block again. Great job, ladies. You guys seem to be reading much better on the block too. I've really noticed that you guys are really picking up the hitters a lot sooner and reading the hitters and getting off watching the ball. So it seems like you guys are watching like the hit more. Run the middle. You gotta run the middle on that play, center. You gotta run the middle. Run the middle. Guys, we have to run the middle. So those are two great opportunities to run the middle or run the back set. Like that frustrates me. I want us on balls there running the back set. The other thing I haven't seen with you guys is us running the area 51. Area 51 is where we pass the ball to this area here, slightly off center to the left of the midline. And then basically we run a, a back to, we run a fast outside, and we also run a little bit slightly inside back set there. So I want to start working on that. But what it will do is basically open up our back to which will just crush, you know, when you have a, the whole momentum of the opponents going left like this because the pass is off center and it really opens up the back two. And then we can also shoot a ball outside, a fast outside set or a back set, and it just kills them. So let's fix that. Hittable balls, guys. Hittable balls. Your shoulders weren't square, Seta. That's why we got that. But again, look, no hitting errors. Let them make the hitting errors. Our game plan is serving in tough. No hitting errors. On tough serves, pass the ball high and off the net. Hittable balls. Take out the trash. Relentless pursuit defense. Game plan offense. Run the middle. Run the back set. Run outside. Take out the trash. That's our game plan offense. Set up our area of 51 attack. Game plan defense. Take out their best hitters. 
read the game, bunch read, spread read, looking at what they're doing, different defensive options like our wing up defense, our back row wing up defense, things such as that. Looking great, girls, ladies. Yes, coach. You sure are on a camp, that's what you should have done. <laughs> Notice that area one is out of position a little. Oh, there she is. High outside. Nice play. Nice save. Nice dig. Set the back set. Ella, you got to get off on that. <coughs> Damn it. Excuse my language. Ella, no hitting errors. No hitting errors, Ella. Excuse my language. We, those are two unforced hitting errors when we have a good rotation with scoring points. We really have to control that because that's what stops our runs. We had two good serving runs and they got stopped by basically an unforced hitting error, Ella. So please don't do that. You've got to work on that. Rather be smarter. It's like you're trying to hit every ball. Tip that ball down the line. Tip the ball to the middle. You're getting kills or zeros when they're giving it back to us as a free ball. Much smarter shot. You see a simple shot. It didn't have to be a power, and then we get a nice free ball. See how good that is? Nice attack in the middle, guys. Nice. So you made a double move there, Ella. That's why you got blocked. Make sure you're doing a straight move on that hitter. Let's run the back set. Smart play. Smart play. You see how easy it is. Smart play. I don't like that double-handed shot. I prefer one-handed shot. Uh, Lisa put up some great drills on hittable versus playable draws like two weeks ago. Really add, look at adding some of those into the practice plan. Great serve, Ella. Very, very good serve, Ella. Woo! Oh, it looked good though. A little tight in the set, but I loved it. It looked pretty good. Nice covering, guys. Nice play. That's a big goal they got in the middle there. Yep. Nice try. I like the two-man and three-man block. It's beautiful. That's all we want. We'll shut that goal down. She has a few kills. That's fine. Nice play on that. Very, very good job, middle. Good way to get that short ball. That was excellent. Very, very good. Let's go. Set. See, now that's a mistake for me, guys. We can't make those mistakes. What I mean by that is, like, that back set was open. We're driving the ball to the outside, and I want to, on transition, also look at setting the back set. We don't just set the outside hitter in a transition play. The one thing I liked is notice we didn't make hitting errors. They made the errors. So we kept that ball in play and let them make the errors. Remember, people suck. Let them make the errors. We don't make the errors. No hitting errors by us. Okay, call out your hitters. I would be paying attention to where number eight is right now because she's the main hitter. And I would be trying to put a two-man block on that goal. So I would be fronting her with a two-man. Look at this. Okay, so notice on that play, I could have told you exactly where they were going in beforehand. Like that play, we almost are doing a bunch read. So all the blockers are in, and we're doing a three-man block on that play, ideally. We don't care about the outside. Let them hit us on the outside because they're not going to even set the outside on that play. 
Okay, so let's be a little bit more clear today. Now, what they would also look like, Lisa, is that you would know that rotation for them. And next time that rotation comes up, you would jump up with the players and say, hey, guys, this is our rotation. You know where they're going on a good pass. Nice pass. Okay. That's a problem for me. Middle, you are not ready to attack. And the reason is because you started on the net on the rotation. So that play should be a set to the middle. And I like that pass location. We could have also, if middle, if you had started here on serve receive, we could have had you on this play run a front two or even based upon the pass location, run a back two, which I would have really liked, which would have allowed you to hit into this area here in area one. So I really want us to work on that. Um, middle starting slightly off the net, Lisa. And then they're ready to attack. Way to crush it, Ab. Great job, Abby. Way to be the go-to goal. Nice job. Okay, now call out your hitter. You guys, okay, stop. Game plan defense. Okay, who are their main hitters and where are they standing? Okay, I think you guys are focused right now as attackers on the wrong thing. I would be communicating who I hit as Libra. What are you doing? You guys need to be communicating right now and looking at them and going, hey, who's our main hitter? Who's our main hitter? Who's our main hitter? Who's our main hitter? Who's my main hitter? What are they doing? Let's go. What do you think they're going to do? How are we going to stop it? Okay. No one's communicated anything about how are we setting up our game plan defense. Now, notice, guys, looking at this, where do you think they're going to go? I think they're going outside or middle. I don't think they're setting a back set. Maybe I'm wrong. But that, that one is a decoy. That back set is a decoy, in my opinion. So what I'm going to be doing on this is I'm going to have a two-man bunch read in the middle. Looks like you guys are trying to do that. I love that. Or even maybe a three-man bunch read. I don't know how good this person on the outside is. Okay. Great play. I like that block. Everything looked pretty good. Looks like you guys did a bunch read in the middle. And then we had our outside blocker ready to go. Let's set up our day. Okay. Nice play. I like that, guys. I just want to communicate through it earlier. Hey, in that rotation, we need a better serve. That's why that play is like that. They basically are digging our serve too easily. The other thing we could also try and do in that rotation is serve them short. So if we serve a short ball into right here in the middle, basically what that does is now there's a bunch of confusion and people in the way so they can't run their game plan offense. So we can stop their game plan offense by a smart location serve for next time. Run. Yeah! Yeah! Finally, you see, even on a great set, on, on a not great set, because we know the defense, the line was open, we took out the trash, and it was an easy play. I just want us to help each other with that. So, Libro, that's you. Opposites, outsides, when you're in the back row, help your offensive players in the front row. If you're on the bench, help the players. If you see something on the bench, tell them. Great play. Whoever that was hitting that. Great job. Okay, you guys are not communicating the hitters. Who's the main hitters right now? I think it's three if I recall. Communicate your hitters. You know, that girl's useless, you know what I mean? So she's not our main priority. we got to stop the main priority. That's our main priority. Now, look at that. We had one blocker up. So that's a bad play by me and by you guys. So the middle, you should be almost in the middle or here with the main goal of actually only taking that. I think, Abby, you were front row. I would almost consider... As the momentum of their play kind of shifts here, 
I would, I would actually have you start to front the middle, Abby. And actually, let's give up the back row, the back set. Like, let's see what happens. Hey, let that back set girl kill us. You know what I mean? She's yet to do it. We're digging all the garbage. Okay. Something to think about. But again, I think if we're communicating through that when we're on block, when we're, when we're serving, we're going to have much better success. Okay. So in row one, number nine, you have to start off the net. Look at this. And I want us to have our first main go-to person be Abby or the middle on this, not the outside. Back set. Like, you got to run it too. Like, this is a great ball to run a back two. Like, that's a perfect pass. You run a back two right now, oh, my gosh, it's going to open up the whole outside. The other thing is look at how they're now cheating and they're bunched in the middle based upon what we're doing. We're not setting a back set to, in my opinion, one of our most dominant hitters, which is Abby. So this is a bad play. Like we should be shooting this ball in a back set and Abby's going to crush the line. Like, look at this. Look at this hole down here. But instead, I'm guessing we're going to set outside. We'll see. Okay, I'm going to see. Why did we set the outside? You guys see it? Now look at how they set up on defense. She's going to hit to area five where the block is, where the defender is. Or make another hitting error. Guys, no. Ella, no. No more hitting errors, Ella. No. I'm sorry, Ella. I'm picking on you, but I'm mad about this. You're better than this, okay? I've got big hopes for you for next year. You're going to be our main go-to player. You cannot act like this and do this. No more hitting errors, Ella. Okay. Why did we not set the middle? Why did we not set the back two or the front two? That's a bad choice by the setter. we got to fix that, guys. Everything is looking really good except some small little tweaks. That's a small tweak we have to fix, coach. When the momentum goes to area... Um, three, four on the pass. Let's set the back set or a back two. Let's not set a front set to the outside where all the block is already. Also, the players are most prepared for an outside set. So, like, let's not set the outside. They practice digging and defense on the outside the most. They don't practice digging and defense on the middle. Also, they're putting up a one-man block often on the middle. Let's set the middle. Set the middle. Set the middle. Set the back set. Then set the outside. Outside is our third option. No mistakes. Okay, Rockstar's back at the service line, so no hitting errors, I hope. Abby, I'm hoping you're just going to serve this ball down the line. Yep. Okay, I want a little bit more. Guys, you guys know where this ball is going. What I feel like we're not doing is communicating this through right now. So in this rotation, I'd be looking at a spread block potentially, looking where areas who's in the front. It looks like it's number six is their main hitter. So let's look at this. They're in a, look at this. So we should be in a spread right now. So Ella, you should be on the wing, and you should be on the other wing. So look at their attack. They got nothing through the middle. So we should in, in, uh, be in a spread offense. You guys see that? So we, our outside blocker should be spread. I want a two-man block up on that, guys. Notice how they keep messing up. Too many hitting errors, guys. So we don't do what they do. Look how many hitting errors they have. How many unforced errors have they had? Like, coach, that's what you need to be telling them right now. Take out the trash. <laughs> the coach is going to find me online. Give me what are you saying to our team? Good coaching, Lisa. Okay, I hope you're talking about, hey, guys, where's their big offense? Okay, so in these timeouts right now, this should all be about strategy. This should be about, hey, where is their weaknesses? What are they running? Where is their attack? Blah, blah, blah. Hey, how are we running our offense? We're not sitting in the middle. We're not running the back two. We're not running the back set. Hey, area five is open on the back set. We need to hit down that line on area five. Hey, we need to tip into the middle and go from there. Abby, I hope you serve this line. Serve this line, Abby. Come on, Abby. Serve the line. Serve the line, Abby. 
Yeah, did I tell you that's a good set? I haven't seen that club. Oh, run the back set. Or the middle. Yeah! Yeah! See, you see how much they suck? They suck! Keep the ball in, Ella. Do you see that? Keep the ball in, Ella. Sorry, Ella, to pick on you. Got to serve that line on that. On that play, we should have two-man blocker. Okay, so that's a bad play by the middle, guys. That's a middle blocker needs to be looking for that ball. I feel I feel frustrated by that. Okay, middle, you got to be on that. Okay. Ella, you should be fronting that play and be calling that out. Look, no one's communicating about their offense. This is a huge rotation for us. They've got no middle attack. And look, we're in a bunch read. Look at this. This is terrible by us. Look at what we're not paying attention to. Libero, you should be running on the sideline, shouting at them right now. Number 10, you should be shouting at our block right now. Like, we should be in a spread read with our outside blocker here, our other outside blocker there, and the middle buried to a move and attack. If the momentum of the ball is served here, they might be a little bit more left. If the momentum of the ball is served here, they might be a little bit more right as a middle, being prepared to two-man block those outsides. Okay, come on, guys. These are the things that we need to now tap into. Great serve. What a change up. How did they come in through that middle attack there? So they basically... Looks like she came from the outside and ran a middle. We should be having a two or three man block up on that, Ella. That is your player, Ella, and you only have that responsibility. So you not following her, Ella, is a big deal. Nice. Okay, notice we take, that's a bad attack, God. I don't mind the hit at the block, but again, like we didn't try to take out the trash and do something smart. We're just hitting blindly. Take out the trash. Okay, I'm going to wrap up. Um, it's 32 minutes. Ladies, very, 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 very impressive. This is night and day. Okay, we are well on our way of what good looks like. So what is what good look like? Number one, we serve in and tough. Rockstar Abby, very, very good. Ayla, your serve is pretty good. Seeing a lot of great serving. Number two, no heading errors. Everyone has done this very, very well. Ella, you made three that I counted in big plays. So besides Ella, Ella, you can fix this. You're young. You're going to be a rock star. Okay, so just fix it for me and be a little bit more focused on taking out the trash in those plays. Okay? Number three, on passing, we pass the ball high and off the net at the top of the serve. I think your passing is dramatically improved. I cannot explain to you how much better the passing is. Love it. I would like to see a little bit, bit uh, more aggressive free ball passing where we pass a little bit tighter to set up our middle and back set. And then also on the free ball, potentially passing to area 51 so we can run the back to fast outside or a, a slightly inside back set. Okay, coach, if you have questions on that, jump on a quick call with me on the area 51 game plan offense. Um, the defense is pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. The taking out the trash, I'm not happy with. I feel like our back row attackers are not helping, as well as our Libro and the people on the bench. I need you guys looking at that. Okay, game plan offense, I want more attacks through the middle and more attacking out the back set, and, and I want you guys to try to run that area of 51. Um, in terms of uh, game plan defense, this is non-existent in my opinion. We have to be more aware of what's happening on the court and as blockers in each rotation, calling out the hitters and their routes and what their best shots are. So I wouldn't even mind if, if you're on the net sitting going, hey, number three is their main attacker. She's going to try and run an outside set and her best shot is down the middle or she's going to tip it. But she's not very good at that. Like, okay, maybe somebody might, okay, don't add them not very good at that. But I would say something like that as you're on the net, talking it through with the other blockers. So that you guys are really, really, really clear. Okay. I hope this helps. Ladies, it's impressive. Okay. Uh, I'm excited to run a camp again next year with you. Hopefully, you guys are going to have me back. I'm, you know, we are going to build on this and this is going to become incredible. Okay. And there's a lot of stuff I can show you guys and add to this. But you guys are now starting to step into our culture 
the volleyball one-on-one culture of what good looks like, and you guys are starting to look good. You guys are starting to peak. I want to see a little bit more aggressive serving. I want some other people stepping up to the plate and serving tough and in. Okay. But other than that, uh, pretty, pretty good. Okay. Uh, this is a service of volleyball one-on-one and our uh, uh, volleyball camps. If you're interested in running a volleyball camp with us, uh, message me at volleyball one-on-one. I'm on the July, the owner and founder. Uh, and thank you, ladies. Uh, find out more information about our volleyball camps at volleyball101.com. And Lisa, great job on the coaching. You're definitely getting much, much better as a coach, and it's it's so visible in terms of how the girls are playing. Remember, it all starts at the top with you. So great job. And yeah, you should be real proud of the progress.